you? Good. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Closer to Friday. There you go. Doing the first step for yourself though, getting that coffee. I know. I was like, I realized I ran out of Nespresso pods this morning and I was like, no. It's like the worst feeling. Have a great day. Thank you Enjoy. so much. Have a good day. Well, she was nice. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. We have a lot to catch up on. It's been a wild two and a half weeks that's about like 10 weeks the last time i was on a vlog i was talking about how i was going to italy but don't worry there's gonna be so much content for you while i was gone and then a hurricane came yeah. that put a wrench on everything so first of all yes there was a hurricane yes i'm okay we're gonna talk about this a lot more but today's vlog is gonna be a reset i need to reset from recovering from the hurricane from recovering from the trip to getting my business and life together. It's been a couple days since I've been back and the jet lag has been kicking my butt, but I feel like today is the first day that I'm like feeling somewhat normal and things need to get themselves together. I need to clean up after the hurricane. My house has stuff from outside that we needed to put inside so they wouldn't, you know, fly away. I need to clean up all the debris, which thankfully there's not much, but still and put it at the curbside so the city can pick it up. I also just need to get in a better routine of like what to eat. You see my voice is like croaking right now. I don't know what's going on here. I did take a COVID test. It was negative. I think it was just from traveling and I'm like dehydrated. So drink water, eat healthy. We're gonna get ourselves together today. Where do we start? Let's start with the hurricane, shall we? I tried to vlog it because I thought it would be interesting to like show you guys what it's like preparing for a hurricane. And honestly, I was too busy having panic attacks to actually vlog anything. I took a few clips here and there, so insert them here. It is Saturday, September 24th, and things are very stressful at the moment. Yesterday, um, things started circulating that there might be a hurricane coming our way. I am just trying to figure it all out while at the same time preparing things at the bakery. I need to make sure the cats are okay, I need to make sure the bakery is okay, and I need to make sure that I'm okay. I'm third on that list, by the way. Sent a message to my friend Robbie, who is a flight attendant, and I asked him if he had any insight into what we should do. Hopefully it, the path keeps changing further out to sea. Um, you know, we can hope for that, but we're probably not gonna know that for another couple days. A lot of the airlines would encourage you to be proactive. I hate this. Look, I'm not gonna candy coat it. We're gonna deal with some really foul weather this week and maybe even some dangerous weather because if the Euro's right, this is something we have not seen in a hundred years. If you live along the water and you're in a mandatory evacuation zone, don't blow this one off. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. It is very early in the morning, and I'm just hanging up the laundry because we've been up and about and doing things since 4.30 in the morning. It's looking pretty bad right now. Cats there said that she can take care of the cats, the extra days too. The fear is that if there was like flooding or something like that, then like she couldn't get to the cats. I am looking rough because I feel very rough. It was a tight schedule when I thought we were leaving on Thursday, and now I basically just lost two days. It's going to be an interesting 48 hours. So this is a, a major, major storm. Uh, it's potentially that it could that it could make landfall as a Category Five. But please keep 911 clear for those life-threatening emergencies. Hello, everyone. I figured I'd come over here because I've gotten a few messages of you asking how I was, if I was okay, and everything. So. I am okay, um, but I wanted to kind of break it down to you, if you are not from Florida, what it's like um, preparing for a hurricane. Uh, it sucks. <laughs> it's 
basically like watching like uh, something stalked really <laughs> what stalked by a turtle yeah. yes that is exactly what it feels like i have been baking and working like crazy because as some of you may know if you follow the vlogs you know that i was supposed to go to italy at the end of this week and uh then the flight got canceled and we had to rebook it and reschedule and move it and it's just a complete effing mess and um you know while doing that i also have to make sure that my clients have their orders the cats are okay the house is okay short of it i need it to get to italy like not just for a vacation but i had a, a family wedding that i had to attend so i had to go plus everything was paid for like the hotel was like activities and that was just going to be lost what we ended up doing was we rented a car drove over to atlanta which is like on a good day a seven hour drive it ended up being like a nine hour drive because some people were evacuating we ended up spending the night in atlanta and then catching a plane from atlanta to newark newark to venice italy absolute chaos we were expecting a hundred miles per hour wind that is scary stuff uh, we were worried about the doors we were worried about trees falling into the house we got really really lucky the storm at the last minute um shifted we are fine like our house is fine our cats are fine our neighbors are fine but it sucks because we know that you know just a couple hours down like these people were hit hard and their entire lives were upended and their houses were destroyed and it's it's super sad and it's just horrible and um uh, that's the reality of living in Florida. It's like wonderful <laughs> because of the weather and then the hurricanes and the elections suck. It just suck. Either way, today's vlog. <laughs> so one of the very non-fun things that happened during the hurricane is that we lost power for like two and a half days. So that meant that everything that was in the fridge was done. It smelled like something died. It was really, really bad, like so much mold. And I filled like three full garbage bags of just food that was done. On the plus side, the fridge and the freezer are now cleaner than they have ever been before. Let me show you. Honestly, cannot remember the last time the fridge was this empty and clean, but that's that's it i had instacart deliver some groceries the day that we got here because i was exhausted after like a 21 hour flight but any th the only things that um survived the hurricane was the beer <laughs> everything else i had to get new condiments everything everything is gone so i had to start over but i've been so exhausted with the jet lag that i just been like snacking but i figured right now i would just take like an hour just an hour of my time i'm just gonna prep some veggies i could get some frozen ones frozen broccoli beyond beef was bogo sweet peas so let's just prep these kitchen teriyaki. I have no idea how it's gonna taste, but I think I might mix it in with the veggies. Yeah, I think this could be good. An hour and a half later, this will got any to add parsley to that in a little lemon juice. Um, carrots and I love this. And the soup, which is admittedly not the most attractive thing in the world, but it is hearty and uh it will do the trick and this is lunch so we got the broccoli we got the teriyaki vegetables we'll see how that tastes the beyond beef and then that rice the good thing about being away from town for a little bit is that i have so much tv to catch up on like i'm several weeks behind on bake off the new game of thrones show the lord of the Rings show all of them let me know in the comments if you watch any of these mm. Really good. All right, let's choose the show, and now we'll check in with you guys after lunch. 
So I was gonna clean up some of the hurricane debris. However, it rained. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it rained. It was raining. Uh, so now it's going to just be muddy and gross. But I did want to show you. Oh my god, my lens is fogging up. That is how humid it is. Seriously. Yeah, my lens has fogged up from going to the AC to outside. Welcome to fall in Florida. It does not feel like fall. Okay, but I wanted to show you. So we tied the shed down so that it wouldn't fly away, which we did at Irma too. Um, and then we just shoved everything that we could in here. And so this is the situation that I'm dealing with right now. Basically, all of the things are just shoved in here. Uh, so I'm kind of glad that I'm not cleaning up debris right now. It's just going to have to wait another day. So what we have is that stuff like this, which was left out, usually would belong in the shed, but there's literally no space. So it's just sitting here on the ground for now. So is the pieces of wood that were, you know, barricading the front door. This is mail from today. It has nothing to do with it. It's going to go and recycle it a bit. So yeah, this is just the mess we find ourselves with. And just imagine that like this was all like patio furniture and stuff. Like when we got here after 21 hours of flight, we put that away right away. Anyways, there's Minnie. And since I'm not going to be doing any garden work, I'm going to go ahead and go to the kitchen because I have orders to fill, which actually explains the get up today. Like, you know, I'm getting comfortable with this whole vlogging thing because I never even addressed the fact that I'm dressed like this. Usually when I go to the kitchen, it's not a glamorous look. You don't care. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get over to the kitchen to work on that order and, um, I'll check in with you there. And we're back. I'm sorry about the lighting in here. This is the best we can do. Good news, the Nespresso has arrived. So tomorrow morning is going to be a good morning because there will be coffee. Bad news, it's hours later and I'm starting to go into what I call my spiral of doom, which is after hours of baking, I get really tired and like a toddler, I start just spiraling. <laughs> I'm tired and I just need to go to sleep. Like, it's just plain as that. I'm just tired and I just got home and I'm like, this house is messy, everything is terrible. I just need to go to sleep. That is the simple solution. And then when I wake up, I'm gonna be like, everything's fine. Yeah, so um, you know, it's important to know yourself. So with that in mind, I am going to close this vlog over here and then I'm going to shower and eat something before I go to bed because nothing good is going to come out of staying away. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys here next week with a new vlog. I think next week we'll start the Italy vlogs. We'll see what happens but that's the plan. So I will see you guys next week. Until then, stay curious. Bye.